Welcome back to sportsbookreview.com. Right now I'm joined with college football analyst Joe Gavassi who has insight on the teams to fade as a favorite in the upcoming college football season. Welcome back, Joe. As per usual, you're very efficient with your full extensive article and chart of teams we could fade specifically because of their weak defensive game. Can you briefly break down the top three parts of this chart we should really focus on when using this information for our analysis and college football picks? I certainly will, Megan. First of all, thank you for those kind words. And of course, always a pleasure to be with you, the SBR video team, and of course you guys out there as we begin another week of videos here with SBR, specifically attuned to making you a winner in the upcoming college football season. For years, we've been looking at teams to fade as poor defensive teams, and even though scoring has increased up to 28 points a game in recent seasons, we simply raise the parameters of the teams we look to go against. Last year's teams gave up 35 points per game, over 450 yards per game, and 200 running yards per game. Those were the common thread that ran through the defensive numbers of all those teams. There were 18 of them in all, and when you put it all together, when dressed up in the role as a favorite, these teams went 13 and 30 against the spread. That's 30% winners or 70% profit for you. You can use this list in the early going, and by the time October rolls around, you'll be creating your own list and looking to fade these favorites down the stretch in college football. All right, Joe, there's 17 teams on this list. Of course, guys, you can check out the full extensive list in the article in the links below this video. But right now, Joe, which number one of all these teams is sticking out to you to fade in week one? Well, three of the teams on this list are a favorite in week one. Only one of them is a road favorite. And this is a team who's a road favorite in week one who has won only three road games in the last four years combined. This team has allowed 36 or more points per game in each of the last four seasons. In the last three years, they allowed 450 yards or more and in the last three seasons, over 200 yards or more over land. And yet this team is installed as a road favorite of more than seven points. Colorado Buffalo may stampede some teams this football season, but unlikely they'll do it in the role of seven-point road chalk. Your fade this week as a defensive dud would be the Colorado Buffalo when they travel to Hawaii. Yeah, I see that right here. Actually, their line's at minus eight in that game, so it should be pretty easy to cover the dog there. Uh, Joe, I'm also looking at this, and I want to ask you about really large spreads if you really trust the uh, defensive dominators list that we were talking about a little bit last week. Uh, Florida is a minus 36 and a half favorite over New Mexico State, which New Mexico State, of course, is on your teams to fade list. Do you think that Florida will be able to cover in that game? Well, remember, there's a little bit more to it than just fading these teams across the board. Um, certainly, they're in the role of a large dog now, so we wouldn't be looking to fade them automatically as a favorite. Florida really is the question mark team here. Their defense has been pretty tough over the years, but the offense has been a major question mark for this team in recent seasons, though I expect the Florida offense to be improved this season. That is a hefty price to lay in week one against the team who has not been putting up big numbers on offense in the recent seasons. Expert college football analyst Joe Gavassi, thanks again for joining us. And for the best betting edge on the upcoming season, keep it locked right here with us at Sportsbook Review.